In order to play notes all over the fretboard, you need to just kind of just get an idea where they are. Uh, so all the notes on the guitar are really in the first four frets and then the first string going all the way up, but the notes on all these other frets and other strings are just duplicate notes. So this is a C here on the second string first fret, but this is the same C on the third string fifth fret. This is the same C on the fourth string, 10th fret. Same pitch on the fifth string, 15th fret. So when you find like reference points, like a C note, if we're gonna play in the C of key of C, then that's, you can find that the, a half step back is a B whole step up is a D. But steps are measured in frets, so a half step is one fret. So if I say a note is a half step up, then it's one fret up or a half step down. So a half step is just one fret, but a whole step is two frets. And scales are made up of whole steps and half steps. So the distance from the first note to the second note a whole step. C, D, E, that's a whole step. And then this is a half step to F. And then G, it's a whole step. A is a whole step. B, whole step, half step. So the formula for a major chord, a major scale, is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. string, fifth fret, and this is, in guitar world, uh, when you're playing in a, on a certain fret, they call that fifth position, so this is fifth position, and then this would be eighth position, because your first finger is on the eighth fret. So here I'm on the uh, fourth string, tenth fret. So the idea of whole steps and half steps and intervals is what makes up chords. And chords are made up of a major third, which is C to E. And a major third is... C to E. And a minor third is E to G. So C, E, and G make up the C chord. So anywhere you can find a C, E, and G, in any order, That's a way to just find the notes on the neck. I went to a G chord there. So I was messing around with uh, when the Saints go marching in, and this is where I can kind of put the chords and the notes together. The chords are C, F, and G, but I'm throwing some other things in eventually, maybe. We'll see if I get to that. Uh, thinking about maybe throwing in something different, a diminished chord there, which I'll talk about some other time. But anyhow.
some hammer-ons, things like that. Uh, the extra chord I could throw in, da, C, C7, F. Diminished chord, made up of all minor thirds. Chords moves every three frets too. It's the same. Also, diminished chords can be named from any note that you're playing. So right now, I'm playing an A on the first string, fifth fret, a uh, E flat on the second string, fourth fret, a C note on the third string, fifth fret. So it's kind of like, kind of looks like a D7 kind of shape on frets five and four. Then I'm putting my first finger down on the fourth string, fourth fret, on an F sharp note. So that's just, and you can move that from like the fifth fret to the eighth fret, and then talking about the first, whatever note you're fingering on the first string there. So the frets I'm calling out are first string, fifth fret, first string, eighth fret, first string, eleventh fret, first string, twelfth fret. No, sorry, fourteenth, fourteenth fret. There you go. So, I know I'm going kind of fast there, but... that real horror movie kind of sound. So when the saints C7, F, then I'm gonna go to the diminished. And uh, some of those things I was doing were coming off the C pentatonic, the major pentatonic. And those notes are C, D, E, G, and A. And then C. C, A, G. country riff and if you move it over to G and uh, with the pentatonics with the major pentatonics you want to move with the chord so meaning like if you're playing a C chord I'm playing C major pentatonic but then when I go to G I'm going to play G major pentatonic. So that's G, A, B, D, E. G, A, B, D, E. Ah. 
so see. Yes. <laughs> 